Hi, this is Eric with Keith McMillan Instruments, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the CV clock input with the Qnexus sequencer. A uh, couple gotchas on this. First, you have to use our cable. Um, we have one input jack on the right here. It is a TRRS connector, and uh, this is just a holdover from the original 2012 design. Uh, this one jack, you can use it with two CV inputs. Um, you can use it with a, an expression pedal, um, but because of that, we have to put five volts on one of the rings, and it means this is a custom cable. So you can get this cable and the other adapters that let you use pedals and things like that um, in our CV cable kit, QNexus cable kit that you can get um, off of our website or through one of our dealers. So once you've got our cable, you can plug it in. And then you've got these two inputs um, that'll take just a normal Eurorack cable. Um, the other thing you have to be careful of is these inputs only take a 0 to 5 volt DC range of input. Um, now, you can't damage the circuitry by giving it 12 volts, but it will behave strange. Um, and unfortunately, again, it's a holdover from the original design, but um, 12 volts will wreak havoc with the shift registers, which means the buttons will act strange, they might not work, and uh, it'll also potentially overload both clock signals. So instead of being able to clock things separately using the two inputs, if you send it 12 volts, it might clock both at the same time. Um, either way, it's just not going to behave the way you want it to. So now that we've got that out of the way, um, I'm going to go ahead and connect my Tempe, which puts out 12 volts. Um, off screen, uh, I've got a uh, level shifter that's going to shift this down to 5 volts. Uh, first, I'm going to program in just a little melody. So on track one, I've got this little, little uh, zappy zap kind of sound. And then on track two, do a little uh, square wave that's a little looser. All right, so now that I've got both of these programmed in. Let me make sure I did that right. Okay. All right, so the internal clock works. Now let's uh, enable the external clock. So I'm gonna sh uh, hold down tempo. That gets us in the clock menu. Um, the left octave blinking means we're adjusting the clock input. And I'm just gonna make sure that CV is selected here on the right, which it is. All right, so now the clock's connected. Uh, or configured, I should say. I'm going to connect um, over to my level shifter, uh, clock inputs one and two. And then from the level shifter, I'm gonna just hook in these two different clocks, which you can kind of see here. We've got one going fast on channel one and one going slower on channel two. So if I plug in channel one, and then if I plug in channel two, Now, what you probably noticed is that um, we are clocking track one to CV input one, and it's um, just playing from the step sequencer. So one clock pulse is one step, and it's gonna just travel through uh, the sequence that you've programmed in. Um, you can adjust gate and uh, division all you want, but they're not gonna do anything because we're not clocking an internal clock to an external clock. Um, this is, kind of like my Renee on the left, um, we're just playing the notes that are in the sequencer using clock impulses of the input. Um, if you want to clock it to something more steady, uh, recommend you use MIDI. We can do that through the expander port. Um, and then you can use the, the clock division and the gate. Um, but because we're not syncing an internal clock to the CV input, um, it's just one pulse per step within the sequencer. Um, track three, if I had it connected, um, it defaults, I believe, to either an AND or an OR logic from CV inputs one and two. And you can change that logic in the editor. Um, but track three clocks to some kind of combination of high and low from the two clock inputs. 
that's uh, all the features and the time I have today. I hope that helped you. And uh, if you need some more support, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook or you can drop a, a support ticket through our support website.